Hey guys, welcome to the channel Adventure Travel and Scuba. In the last video I have covered upgrade my motorcycle to a lithium battery which is the Honda Africa Twin uh, 2017 model. In that video I showed you guys how to replace the battery on that bike. I thought it would be good idea to also share and review the charger that I will be using to charge the battery. Before I had a Honda Optima charger just to charge the lead acid batteries. When I changed the battery to a lithium ion I needed something new because uh, the regular charger will not charge your lithium batteries. I did a little bit of research and I wanted to shop on the market for something that's not going to break my bank and it will be sufficient to charge most of my needs uh, from my travel trailer to car batteries and at the same time it will charge the lithium ion battery on my motorcycle if I have to because technically um, lithium battery should hold the charge uh, it will discharge itself uh, to a certain amount and then it will hold the charge uh, so for, for quite some time before it drains but uh, my motorcycle is also parked in a garage over winter so it's not that big of an issue so because the, the temperature is not going really below minus 3 degrees celsius but uh, put all that aside uh, I looked at many different charges and options and I decided to go with the Noco Genius 5 charger that is a 5 amp charger that will charge pretty much anything it is also a smart charger and it can restore your battery so first of all I would like to show you what's in a box uh, when you get it even though I already charge my battery with this thing I put it back together in a box so I can show you guys how it comes uh, what it comes with I have to mention as well that it comes with the three-year warranty so the packaging is pretty nice looking actually it's uh, kind of uh, printed over everything here and you can actually feel those things what we have inside the box here let's go over the pieces it is not a big charger it's actually quite small So there is the main charger. It doesn't have much many controls, just a one mode button which lets you cycle through different modes of the battery. And it has pretty long extension uh, to go with. Next item in a box is your alligator clips. I I've read about the Noco charger. They have upgraded uh, the clips uh, since the first generation. This is a next generation charger and it has a pure copper leads uh, which makes much better quality uh, of connection when you putting it on the battery directly. Next thing you have the, uh, the charger wall mount which you can screw into the wall or somewhere close to your bike if you want to and uh, attach it with the velcro this way it's not hanging anywhere or you will not drop that and of course your accessory guide there's many different accessories that you can get for this charger and your user manual that's it what what's in here so what's nice about this charger also that it comes with the quick adapters so there's a little push pin and you can attach different attachments whatever battery type you will be charging you can just attach uh, different uh, accessories so one thing that i've got uh, as an accessory for this charger is the standard motorcycle plug uh, the converter that uh, charges the battery tether that's sticking out on the side of my bike and I've upgraded that also so it has a LED indicator it gives you the battery uh, light status on a bike but this is just a quick adapter that you can quickly attach to the charger and now I can go onto my tether on my motorcycle. I have two of those. One of them is set up on the bike to for my USB port charger and the other one is plugged in directly to the battery. So now I will show you how the charger works and uh, how it connects uh, through a different mode uh, to charge the battery. I will undo this one because I don't I won't be doing this on motorcycle. I'll be using my Yausa older battery which is still good 
but uh, it was replaced with the lithium ion. So I will show, show you how that works. Positive, negative. So first, when it boots up, it goes to a standby mode and it just shows you that it has power. And I will go over the battery indicator LEDs. So first of all, right at the top, you have your progress bar that shows you how far the battery is charged and it goes in 25% increments. Once the battery is fully charged, it will light up green. So what I will do, I will actually go into a 12 mode charging and now it's showing that it is uh, going through a cycle. So, so as you see, it's building up actually quickly because it was it's lighting up already with the second one because this battery is fully charged. Uh, I charged it actually beforehand. So eventually that will go into the green. And go, so go just below here, you have a different battery types. Uh, so the first one here for charging to 12 volt battery, flooded, enhanced flooded and gel type batteries. Then the second light is your 12 volt AGM uh, battery mode. The third one is the 12 volt lithium battery charging mode. So that's uh, to cycle through those menus here. All you do is just single click and it goes through the different cycles so when you're charging. So first, first click, second click and third click. Now, when you hold the button for three seconds, it will go into a charging mode once you press that one more time it will go to the 12 volt repair mode so this charger is capable of uh, repairing the battery um, in most cases what I've read online uh, it can repair most of the batteries not all of them but a lot of people had a success uh, to repair the battery when it wasn't charging so basically it will when you hold the button for five seconds it will force mode to a full five amp charge to, for five minutes. And uh, th that will apply to ba batteries below one volt or dead batteries. Uh, there's a chance to save the dead battery with this charger. And as you see, while I'm talking here, it already went to green. So it, it went through all the testing, tested the battery and the charger is showing green so the, but this battery is fully charged and it's a great little charger if you're interested in it I will put a link uh, down below in the description to my uh, affiliate uh, Amazon account and if you want you can get it from there you will not pay any extra because uh, Amazon will just give me a small contribution for the sale but for you there's no different cost so in my opinion this little charger is a great little charger. Um, after researching, as I mentioned before, this charger can do pretty much anything. And I would strongly recommend it. Uh, I've been using this now on my new battery for a couple of weeks, and I'm really impressed with that. In my opinion, this is a great charger for all your battery needs, uh, from charging your boats, ATVs, travel trailers, cars, pretty much whatever you need. Uh, and of course for me the primary use is always uh, to motorcycle but if I'm storing my 6 volt batteries that I'm using on my travel trailer I will be using this one also. I have a big charger as well in a garage uh, that's more for the 12 volt batteries and the cars but this can do anything. So remember the, the maximum charging power of this charger Genius 5 is 5 amps and it's a, it is a smart charger I think it's a great investment for anyone that's on the market to get a new battery charger anyways that's a short video if you liked what you see here don't forget to hit the like button comment down below and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video cheers